Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Radix Prime. Welcome back to the channel again. You know, I wanted to do another Let's Play first impressions type video. I was going to do one over Pixel Privateers. It's been in my Steam library for quite a while. And you know what? I figured it's about time for us to get to it. So, see you on the other side. All right, so here we go. We got Pixel Privateers, and like I said before, it's your boy Radicus Prime. And you know, I have to confess, I had actually already written and um, done the script for this video. And when I was doing the tutorial, I loved it. I kept thinking, man, I'm going to play this some more. Man, I'm going to play this some more. And I did. But then right afterwards, when I continued to play, after I was done recording, I saw so many things. I was like, man, I wish I had got that on tape. Man, I wish I had recorded that. Uh, oh, I said on tape. I think I showed my age there a little bit. Um, so I was like, wow, you know, I really, I, I, you know, I, I feel like I have to do it again because my goal is to let you see what the game is like. So if you want to pick it up on Steam or wherever you choose to buy it from, you'll make a good decision, a good knowledge based decision. So what is Pixel Privateers? It's a squad based tactical RPG loot em up and you see a team of mercenaries, which is you. And you're going to go through wormholes by your employer to get technology to bring back. And, it, you know, it's it's multiplayer. It has multiplayer function to it. And it's roguelike as far as the planets and the weapons that you get. You can literally explore a huge universe. It's got a storyline. It's got skill, tech trees, interactive ship, epic loot. And you know what? We are going to have a really good time with this. So without further ado, and also, you know, telling you that the game is available on Steam. Please pick it up if I hadn't said before. But it was uh, released in 2016. And yeah, it's a really good game. So all right, so enough of all that jibble jabble. Let's go ahead and get back to the game and we can see what we're going to do. All right, so we have here, we have new game, load game, multiplayer, and options. So we're going to go ahead and do new game. What's the name of the crew? The crew is going to be um, 187 crew. There we go, 187, which means we're going to murder, death, kill you. All right, so the tutorial tells you how to get in and do the movements, and you have like a small little dialogue thing you can do with the tutorial, but we're skipping that. So we're going to get right into the gameplay, and this right here determines how you start the game and what are your 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 beginning stats, so to speak. And this right here just lets you choose difficulty. So now, through numerous exploration missions and never, in, never leaving a man behind, that's normal difficulty, you're able to clone dead crew members and recommend it for new players i'm not a new player <laughs> actually i am I only played one game but doesn't matter bring the soul survivor on a soul mission the rank was awarded for extraordinary heroism so hardcore difficulty cannot revive dead crew new game required if you died now i did this for the tutorial slash leading into the playthrough and i died so it started over and i figured since i'm starting over let's redo the video oh pixel privateers we're gonna have fun with this all right no no tutorial we're gonna start the game And I'm really, I'm really looking forward to actually playing this past the first one or two planets. Uh, I saw the end game on YouTube and it looked amazing. And I really, I really enjoy this game. Just everything about it. All right. So who is your father? A famous space pirate. You get 10 extra level one through five weapons. Jorge the flatulent. Get more fuel. I did run out of fuel on my other playthrough. He was a space hoarder called, I didn't pronounce that 250 matter that's pretty good i guess he's a famous alien researcher called adonis randomer research points three technologies at the start that's pretty good and he was not present in my life hyper wound okay so you know what we're gonna go with i wonder what the training demo does you know we're gonna go with research point right can't have any too much research point who is the company ceo all right so these are the people i work for let's see here we can start with plus six research points plus five global hit chance 25% decreased chance of ship invasion events. Finding rare loot. And four training codexes. Mm, we'll do that. Alright. What did your first toy spaceship look like? Ooh, your mom's house. I saw that right away because I don't like people talking about my mama. Alright, but you know what? Large with two extra rooms. Extra research. Extra squad member. Four ship turrets and four ship traps. And this might be good in the long term, but I do want a bigger ship. Hmm. You know what? Let's start small. All right. This is just for the tutorial. All right. So the game has started. Oh, hold on. Wait. Hello. Can you read me? Please respond. All right. Lost you in a ship. So space. Okay. So this picks up right as the tutorial is over. Phew. What a relief. 
You see, I lost your ship on our subspace radars for quite some time. You probably didn't notice anything strange, but the wormhole isn't acting quite like it should. We won't be able to send you any backup until the wormhole is somehow stabilized. We will only be able to communicate with you and send small care packages. But anything larger than that will be disintegrated. We pinpointed the surface. I am messing this up. The source of the destabilization effect on a nearby destroyed planetoid field. I marked it with an explanation point on your galaxy map. You should investigate this area and report any anomalies you might find. All right, you can also request more missions. Got that. All right, boom. All right, so this is basically part of what you'll be working with. It's your galaxy map. You can check out your crew, assign them different types of gear. You can even rename them. And the gear is what determines what class your crew is. Like we have Vanguard here, and these are two melee type crew members, so no weapons. And that's only because they have melee with melee type weapons. Let me see. Mining turret. Let me see if I have any guns. Oh, so these are ship defenses that I want. So I don't have any actual like pew pew weapons. So okay, that's fine. We'll we'll deal with that later. And then science labs where you can do researches. You know what? We're gonna give our Vanguard more hardened skin. Oh, out of research points. In that. Alright. So we can basically make them a little bit uh less spongy. And you can research items you find on different planets on your missions. And you can visit the ship too. Does it cost? Let's take a look at the ship here. All right, so this is your ship and you can control everything with the WSAD keys. So, okay, and it's three standard rooms. When I did the other one with the two rooms, there was actually room in between here. And this is your band that plays, your bar. I haven't really gotten into this whole aspect. I don't know if you meet people here like a Han Solo type and they want to shoot you, but you know, Han shot first. But it's pretty cool just to have that there. Little guy right here floating and singing. This is the ship. I still think it would be awesome to have a game that's like space exploration, but side scroller type. And you could do scans on planets and stuff and chart your, you know, just chart out your map here by clicking around on these. Make this sort of interact. That'd be a great cell phone game, too. I wonder, that'd be cool. You know, I should pitch that. And then. So this is where your crew chills and drinks. Medusa green chick, Afro dude. And then your warp core and your, I uh, hope, I hope someone's watching that because it looks pretty dangerous. I don't think you should have it right next to the people who are drinking. Look, what is that? Is that Princess Leia? That Jezebel, what's that, Chewie? I'm telling Luke, man, y'all playing. I just love the animation, the way they dawdle back and forth. This animation is amazing. And I just, it just tickles me to see it. And right here the background the side scrolling good old parallax oh that's good okay but i got i digest i digested really good we're gonna go back here okay all right so you can clone your crew members when they die but i think we went with the with the route that you couldn't clone them so now that we're here let's see our first mission so i already know what we're gonna find here because it told us to get here this is right next to a market station uh, do we have any money? Okay, so we have 1,000 money. Let's see if we can find one-handed bullet weapon. If we can find a weapon so I can tell you or show you. Let's see. Buy that. And then that'll be good. Okay, we'll go to crew. Now, both of these guys here, which one has more health? He's got more health, so he's going to get the weapon. Let me see. Where's my weapon? Did I not pick it up? I feel like I didn't pick it up. Took my money. Did it transfer it over? All right, so guess we are not going. Well, no, it's right there. Does it not let me give it to someone? It says I have an assault. I already had an assault rifle. This is my. Yeah, this is stuff I could sell. So I already had an assault rifle. So, all right, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe you do have to, maybe you do have to have someone who can actually use the assault rifle. But I feel like I got ripped off. Yep, there it is, assault rifle. And then there's the other one. So I can't carry two-handed weapons and big tools. Okay, oh, you know what? Because I have a kinetic shield. Take the shield off, look at that. And then, let's see, 11.7 DPS. 6.2. All right, let's take you off. Put you on. 
from here, take you off, put you on, and then, I think, is that a tool we can put there? There we go, open locked doors, got a shield, I think you need a spiffy hat. If you're gonna be up close. And then a trading codex, so we're not gonna worry about that yet. So there you go, so all I did was I simply gave him different types of gear and you see it changed his class. He's an engineer with the weapon. He's a vanguard, so he went from melee to pew pew, right, DPS, by changing the gear that he has, which I think is really cool. Kind of really opens it up for you. So now, we're here. Let's go ahead and go down to the planet. We're gonna do galaxy map. Oh, galaxy map. Team. Select all. Or you can drag and drop. And then we're gonna start mission. And this is where we start. There's that wormhole. Walk over here. Talk the little how 9000 here. Hey there, privateers. It's nice to meet you all. What if it was had like a goofy voice? Hey there, privateers. Okay, I'm not going to do that. That was horrible. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ignore ignore that. Erase that from your memory. You were able to squeeze me through the hole so I can take some readings and have a look around. <laughs> That's what he said. From what I can tell, this is the only spot currently in the area where safety can transport to. Those structures in the background seem to keep space-time somewhat constant. This is going to be important. Looks like you can put things. I guess you'll find artifacts start to travel that you can put there and these will unlock something to make us go through that all right nothing to do right now carry on with the original mission whatever lies behind these muyal temporal walls we're gonna do it remember to request new missions from time to time the galaxy map and then you're gonna self-destruct in five seconds do you come here oft i do actually oh no all right teleport back up and you have your objectives over here on the side All right, so we got that out of the way. We bought our first weapon. Let's do request missions. All right, so now you get three different missions and you have to be wary of the type of, how far you go, what type of mission you're doing, or how much fuel you have. You can get fuel from completing missions, but if you run out of fuel, you have to do a distress signal. And if you do a distress signal, it depends. Some people may come get you to save you. Some may come get you to destroy you, but we're not gonna do that just now. You know, send a distress signal. You can do item research, crew replicators, and you can replicate most anything. Unless it tells you it's hard to replicate. Where's one at here? But like this, it won't let you replicate. So if you have extra gear and you want like, I want another one of these, you have a 90% chance to replicate this piece of armor. But that takes matter. And you get matter by either breaking down things you find or other gear that you find in an alien planet. And in research points, you get those while just playing the game. All right, so let's go back to Galaxy Map. Let's take on a mission real quick. Did I already select one? I think I did. Actually, no, I, I want to be sure. Let me drag and drop there. And let's go Galaxy Map. Yeah, I hadn't actually moved, so I would have wasted fuel going back down to that planet again. All right, so Cold Frontier. Oh, excuse me, cold conifer forest. All right. Planetary exploitation. Analyze environment with your team. Cool. You need more materials. Habitats of Barathendia 5. Have what you want. Go down there and collect specs. Okay, cool. Plenty of weird rockets. Send a survey team for the surface and collect some. Okay, so you can see that it's usually, a, it's most likely going to be a fetch quest or something like that. We're going to do this one. The boom, see, burning fuel. We are now there. We come over to choose team. We're gonna go ahead and select all. Now it's important if you're doing the harder ones that if you select all, leave one person back instead of selecting all. Because if you die on the planet, you won't be able to finish. The game literally says it's over and your save game is dead and you can't carry on. You have to start a new game. So if you leave at least one person, you know, only send the red shirts, you can keep playing. So we have no offense and no healing. He's offense, he's got a weapon. Maybe because I gave him the engineering tool. But you know what? We're going to see. We're going to start off in it. We're going to figure out. You know what? We are not afraid. Oh, look at that. That is nice. All right. And typically, it'll stop you from going one direction or the other. And it's just sort of randomly set up like this rock formation right here. It means I can't go further than that. 
Okay, so his his pew pew weapon works. You see my vanguard goes there forward. Now you can select one person at a time and have them move and do things. Or you can select them both. So it's not let me go past this. Let me kill this. There we go. And that's the rock formation that stops it. All right, so let me do select all. And they're coming over here. And we're going to have a good time. Oh, and the objective is always listed over here. So exploratory examination. Use the environment scanner to find all anomalies in each area. Air surveyed is three. Now, these scanners, you always have them. And if you don't have one equipped when you're going to mission, it'll give you one specifically for the mission. So don't worry about too much about the details, all right? We don't care how you make the sauce as long as the sauce gets made. Unknown bomb imprint detected. What are you, the Borg? Integration? Nope. Attack them. I don't care about this. I am I will not be a Borg unless you have Jerry Ryan there. If you have 7 of 9 there, you know, 7 of 9 will get this 8. I don't know why you're playing. But chances are there's no sexy Borgs here. I didn't think this is the right uh, world to get. And all I'm doing right now is I'm right-clicking on the different enemies and it's sort of auto attacking there you go see if these little pew 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 slice slice katana man he wasn't even oh it's a shotgun that's why i was gonna say he wasn't shooting he's doing a, a poor drone work if he's not gonna protect you know the nest and well, let's close the door behind us all right so this is weird because i can't seem to save him i don't think we're supposed to save him they just said survey they didn't say save any survivors so now we're going to go through here. All right, so nothing there. And you'll see what happens when it finds something you can scan. It'll let you know. Like, see, search this room for anomalies. And then you just select the weapon. And then the arrows tell you to move, you know, move over and up more. Up more or down more. So it's probably two anomalies here. See, boom, and then there you go. So one room is completely surveyed, and I have to do two more rooms. Let's go ahead and do this. This guy, at least he's dressed for the weather. He looks pimp, but he's got like the one gun thing going, like he's a master assassin, hitman. You know, don't try to one arm it, man. Gotta run up and punch something. So we just leveled up. That's gonna give us uh, sort of experience points or tech points to do more. And then we see we have an alien internal organ. We can research that and it gives us research points. You have research points are jumping up right there. And then we're gonna have to identify that maybe when we get back to the ship. This is why I usually just shoot and break everything because money helps. Every gold cent you have will help. Go ahead and kill that guys, kick here. Now see my, my mama told me anything is guys with axes. You know, guys who have an axe to grind, they feel like they want to kill someone. Look, he's been collecting alien internal organs. So he had to go. I'm sorry. Look at this. I love this. The, the backgrounds here. And the music is just like, it's more like ambiance instead of actual music, at least for now. But I guess if I really wanted to hear music, I would go back to my ship and listen to my, my band that I hired. What if they take requests or bring him some alien stuff? Kill that bird too. I remember duck hunt. I've been traumatized. Every time I see a duck flying in the air, or anything flying in the air in a video game, I want to kill it. Hopefully that stupid dog doesn't come out. All right, so, hmm. I surveyed. Would it let me survey? And Oh, I can survey outside, too. I wasn't paying attention. Because right now, that's blocked. And we're supposed to survey different things in different areas. Uh, I must have missed the prompt because I don't think there's any more to survey on the inside there. Let's go back. I mean, because that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done. Let's see if I missed something here. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's an elevator. Wow, this is the first time I've done this. See, look at that. So now there's a now there's verticality to these missions. Some sort of a thing you can come out and do. Let's move you, buddy. You need to come over here. All right, so verticality here that actually works out pretty good. Go ahead and kill these guys pretty quickly. I wish I had three people on my little fire team here, but I think I'm going to be all right. My vanguard should take care of anybody who's doing too much damage. Ooh, I got a company helmet. 
And all this stuff is teleported like right up to the ship when you click it. So I don't think you can actually equip it real time. You have to wait to get back to the ship. Come here. All right, so let's see if we can scan in here. Okay, yes, we can. So, all right, so we're going to find it. But as I was saying, I like the verticality. This is the first time I've actually gone on an elevator to go down. I, I thought it was just left and right. Not that I've played crazy hours in this game. I only played, you know, an hour or so, and I died. On, like, the fifth planet I was on because I was gung-ho guarding a mining ship. Ooh, TNT. This is going to be easy. Do it. Get, oh, come on, Vanguard guy. Get back. All right, so let's move you back. And you shoot that. There you go. Look at that. See? That's the tacticalness of it. I know y'all like tactical. I don't know why y'all playing. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can find something. Yup. Oh, we found that right away. Alright, let's see if we can find one more. There we go. So you're just right clicking and left clicking until you find what you need. Uh, pretty much right click does 90% of the things here and left click is just reserved for special things like selecting from the hotkey the taskbar here all right so let's talk to right click an old boy here now we know from the very beginning we need fuel let's go ahead and collect fuel. and that's basically you get reward for each mission and it gives you three choices it gives you antimatter so you can replicate things equipment or fuel so we're going to get fuel grab these crystals because we can take these crystals and inject them in the ship and then we can teleport. We can either finish exploring here, or we can teleport back up. Now we've already done everything we need to do here, right? So we're gonna go ahead, as you can see, kinda like right here. You can zoom out on your little tech map, and then come back in. Look at that. That is awesome. I like the detail in this game too. I mean, just the like I said, the artwork is is pretty fun. It's enjoyable and exciting. All right, so we're back in the ship. Now before we move on, let's go ahead and take a look at our crew members because we leveled up, right? And we can train our crew members. Now, both of these guys started off as melee. So strength, agility, speed, look at that, intelligence. But I think we need someone, damage absorption, attack rate, chance to hit, all right, main melee damage. All right, so this guy right here is still our melee guy. So we need, let's raise his attack speed. We'll just put all on attack speed for, for right now. Boom. And then we come here. And this guy has the pew, pew, pew. Right? He has the assault rifle. All right. He's got a good one, too. Green. It's going to bland. All right. So we're going to come up. And I think we need to do one on speed. And then throw some intelligence in there. Some agility. And you know what? What the heck? Do one more for speed. Maybe he'll reload faster or something. And then everyone has abilities they can unlock too. And the abilities are dependent upon their class. Like if I were to switch his class right now, he would get a different ability right here. But we're not worried about that too much right now. And let's see, armor. All right, we're gonna put the better armor. Yeah, we're gonna put the better armor on our Vanguard. All right, and then we'll see if this armor will work. Nope, so same armor. This guy, 82. Well, it said it was better armor. The overall armor rating is lower. Maybe I'll put this one back on. Oh, faster reload. But okay, yeah, no, we don't need that. We need to keep him there and then give this guy this armor, faster reload, because he's our pew pew guy. All right, and then we can use training codex. Go ahead and use training codexes. Remember, we picked these up from our start the game options. All right, so training codex. Come here, and this is our melee guy so there we go and then our pew 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 guy we need him to have intelligence agility and pump up some stamina because he'll probably be sitting still getting shot every now and then okay so we're good there all right so let's pop over to the science lab we have more research points let's go ahead and queue up optimize xeno profanities so this basically lets your vanguard pull aggro we'll go ahead and buy that and then if we have enough, let's go ahead and start researching sniper weaponry. And this right here will carry over to basic assault weaponry too. And there's a whole tech tree as you can scroll down. Look at this, tier three, tier four, tier five. And it'll even, look at this, unlock major tech for this cluster. Corrosive status effect duration decrease, alloys, taunt bots. I mean, I'm really excited to see, ooh, an orbital neutron beam. 
I really want to see what, what's going to happen when I get these things unlocked. All right, so let's go back to Galaxy Map. I, oh, I didn't just, oh, I just said, no, I didn't. I didn't do the fuel. Let me go back. All right, so this is the fuel. You see, I have 23.9. Load fuel, 28. All right, let's see what I have here. We're going to go ahead and load all the fuel. There's no reason to keep it in inventory. At least not this road of the game. I know you can have sh uh, people uh, try to board your ship. And speaking of ship, can we install these? These have to be installed. Let's go visit the ship real quick before we start another mission. We have just enough time to do one more mission. I right, said so this is a ship. It's called the Pile. Look at this. We're sitting here, chillaxing. He's up there singing. All right, so everything seems to be doing all right with the warp core of the ship. The inventory, the ship's inventory is good. Oh, you could. Oh, and I said you can disintegrate things to get matter, and matter is what you what lets you replicate stuff. So that's pretty good. Auto disintegrate. All no, we're not gonna do that. I guess you can auto set it to do the quality. If it's like trash quality, the white stuff, it'll auto disintegrate. I don't know if it'll. Nope. Below, at or below the second the. Oh, okay. Here we go. So yeah. So if it's this right here it'll auto disintegrate yeah let's do that all right so we haven't unlocked any slots to do anything with the ship yet but when we do we can mount all these weapons and turrets what is that is that something crawling on my ship okay no you can mount all the turrets and everything and what is these like game cubes is that what the, is that what this is these are like a bunch of game cubes or a playstation one sitting here and they just play video games all the time that is rough and then is this Princess Leia? Is she in it? Wait, hold on, is that the same outfit? Okay, it's not. I'm about to say, what is she doing here? Because if she's in this in a video, then I don't think those are video games. At least not the ones, you know, it's a future game. A future game. I like how we have a bar on our ship. All right, so let's do one more mission. All right, so we came here, we completed that mission. Now we can take and come way over here. And it tells you the fuel required. So we're gonna do 7.6. Let's go ahead and fly to orbit here. And then you can request more missions at any time, but the most missions you can get is three. All right, oh, let's see, we have item research. We click on these and it starts researching and I think it researches when we leave. Oh, you gotta have research points. Yeah, so when you're gone, it'll still research, but you get resource points by doing missions. All right, so let's go back and we are at this planet here. All right, so let's choose a team. Go ahead and select everybody. And we're going down to the planet. Hopefully it's a planet of peaceful people who just want to talk. Uh, you know, I'm getting tired of just, you know, so much genocide. Except for spiders, kill spiders. And apparently we've angered them. There's, they're, a, they're a spider clan and we've angered them by killing, see like, Nick, what, boom, boom, no. Yeah, we killed their spider god and Apparently he stunned my vanguard, but we have weapons. So, you know, whoa, whoa, what is this? What is that? Is that a big mutant thing? Oh, I'm glad I ran. These think spiders to get strong. I don't like this. Got some toxic Avenger mutants over here. All right, we're gonna kill him. And all this stuff we're just gonna pick up. I'm not gonna be worried about what it is now. And they do gain health back over time. What are you doing? Get out of get out of the sky. Look like that duck from Duck Hunt. I don't like that. So look at this. This is nice. Alright, so we're in a little cavern. See the background here? There's water right there. We're in a little cave. Some, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Who gave these guys guns? Do the other ones have guns? Are we just going to teach them how to use fire? Nikwa boom, boom, no. I don't even know what that means. I hope they don't ask me later to repeat it. Like, you know, if you, know, if you want to pass this quest, what was the phrase that they yelled as you murdered all of my people, all of my kinfolk? And I'm going to be like, oh, see, Nick Nock, Paddywhack, I don't know, Nick, Nick Nook, Nick Com. Okay, so do we want to try to, let's try the peaceful option, because I killed like, I killed like, you know, great grandma and pops back there, Papa Nook Nook. So let's do greet the totem. Nick, Nick. And did, did that work? Or was I, are they angry? Are they coming over to talk? Nope, nope, he's angry. Oh, okay, we need to kill this guy. I think he's charging up back there. 
Come on, come on. Let's kill this guy. All right, let's go over here and kill Mr. I'm going to collect these. Oh, no, go kill this guy. He's got the big Nick Boom Boom. No, he's got the, the hardest weapon. That thing was taking down my health like it was crazy. All right, now get rid of you. See, look at that. Those are expert tactics. If it hurts, you hit it back. I don't know how to deal with that. All right, kill spiders because a spider on any planet means we have to nuke the planet from orbit. Can you can you scan that? Can we scan? I don't have, uh, they didn't give me a scanner for this mission because that totem looks verified. All right, we're supposed to be collecting specs, and I'm pretty sure I did collect one. I'm just not paying attention too well. Okay, go down there and collect specs. All right, so... Oh, delicious skill points. All right, so I leveled up. I was reading this hoping that I didn't, you know, ignore it. It's like, you're supposed to befriend these people. And I'm not defending them. I'm just, like, killing everybody. All right, cool. So, I finished that mission. All right, good work. This will be extremely valuable for the company. And this guy is our little, like, handler right here. I don't know if I mentioned that. All right, so I got credits and XP. And now I have a choice to get more fuel, more matter, more items. I'm not going to worry about matter. I don't think the quests are going to ramp up too hard. I think it's just more fetch and explore type things. And you don't have to do every quest you see. I'm going to go ahead and do fuel because, you know, I like to party. Because, you know, I used to do drugs and I, I, I still do do drugs. All right, so we're going to click here. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do drugs. Only drugs I do are video games and, man, it ain't worth it. I'm telling you. Like, this is your life on drugs and this is your life on video games. Any questions? You know, I play so much. I'm like, boom, nook, nook, no. Boom, nook, nook, no. Kill that spider because if not i'm about to burn the whole planet down i'm doing a service all right so that's it so now we're here and technically i could have left a long time ago when this is flashing that means you've done everything you need to do here you can go back to your ship so let's go ahead and head back to the ship and then we'll wrap this up but yeah i really enjoy this game i like the atmosphere the artwork the music and the core loop of space exploration going to different planets different biomes I really enjoy it. I, I know this game reminds me of Starbound almost in a way. And I love that game. I love any space exploration game. So you say space, I'm there. You've, you, you got me at a deep, cold, dark vacuum that will murder you quickly. And I'm there. All right. So click on Science Lab. Item Research. All right. So, oh, and it leaves once it's been researched. So that stuff, the axe and everything, it's in my inventory now. And then these guys, I think, are auto, auto researching here. Yep, unidentified. Yeah, I think it's auto researching. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Looks like it's gonna be done here. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get one? Yep. And it went to my inventory. Should we? Should that be in my inventory? I feel like. Oh, uh, okay. No, I did go. To, did it go to my inventory? I don't see it. Maybe it's just like a quest thing or whatever. But this is one of the axes that I found. Smoking power. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, come on, let's 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 put you. What is this? Twenty-four DPS, fire damage. You know what? I'm sorry. Nook, nook, boom, nook. An epic helmet. Let's see weight, intelligence, critical damage. No, we're gonna keep that. Maybe put it on this guy. Yeah, because he's not doing anything. So let's put it on you. Look at that. Goddamn Master Chief, Cortana. We have to finish the fight. Look at that, man. This is great. Okay, so we'll do that later. But, all right, so item research. Those items are researching. And these are this is what gives us research points when we identify things on a planet, which is why when you pick that stuff up, it automatically researches for you. Then you have an archive. You can go back and look at stuff. I don't know what purpose this is going to be for later, but I'm sure there is going to be a reason for it. And then you can unlock more inventory space. Cool. All right, so cloning labs. I don't need to clone anything, but let's do one last thing. Let's, all right, where is, you know what? I don't really want to waste the fuel, but I'm going to go back here to the market just to show you right here. All right, so now we're in the market, and then we can buy new weapons and things like that. But if I go to crew, I can go to hire crew, and now I can add more crew members. I think I need another ranged crew member. There's only, well, again, you could pick any crew member and you can make them ranged. So you want to kind of find one with good base stats. And 
like this one right here this guy's got good base stats well base stats he's got good health um but i kind of like this guy this guy looks like he's a i like his mask can i just take his mask nope you know i'm gonna hire this guy only because i like his i like his gusto all right that boy's got a lot of a lot of moxie you know and then we, i think we need we don't have any females let's do some equal opportunity we could do the emo chick we could do the karen or we can do the other karen you know what we're gonna go emo chick all right so there we go we got oh we could disintegrate people that's got to be horrible as an employee as a manager i wouldn't condone disintegrating anyone unless they you know cheated on their timesheets all right so other than that that's pretty much this game here and i love it it's called pixel privateer at least i hope it's called pixel privateers because that's what i'm calling the video all right so we're gonna go to main menu and yeah we're gonna go to main menu i think we're done for the for this first impression let's play and let's go over the menu real quick here so we have new game load of course you know you can start a new game load a game that you previously played and my last my last one died and it just deleted my save like I, I can never go back to it which is why i said you know what let me go ahead and do a new video multiplayer you can actually join your buddies games and you can go on missions together and then options all right it's got the general options where you could i adjusted the music and sound but you can change the volume an auto pause basic rts turn-based strategy type stuff show damage numbers healings things like that and it doesn't support controller so it's all keyboard and mouse so you can change all the key bindings here if you want all right and that's pretty much for everything and then the video is you know the resolution full screen do you want blood and gore disable mouse panning for ui disable 3d pixel perfect because you can you can stretch this out and it'll keep the whole pixel look to it no it's not even retro it's kind of a 3d i guess no i can't even say retro 3d pixel look and then you can pick your color for multiplayer and once you start it you can password protect it so everyone else just doesn't show up and then that's pretty much it then you exit the game so um like i said before i'd already done this game i'd already done the tutorial but i didn't think the tutorial um you didn't get the chance to see more than one biome you saw like a jungle planet and it went back up and although it explained a lot, it was a lot of reading. And I didn't feel like it would be able to capture the, hey, I think I want to try that game out. So I did this video. I do think it's better. And hopefully it'll make you want to try it out. It's on Steam. It, it The Steam Summer Sale is coming up pretty soon. I'm telling you, if you like space exploration, if you like sort of roguish type games, it's not a roguelike, but there are different planets and different gear you can get. These, this is the game you're going to want to pick up, okay? And other than that, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys giving me your time. And you know what? We're always going to have fun. See you next time.